In Florida this morning, it is all but certain that four Zika cases came from local mosquitoes. We've been reporting on the victims in the Miami area. More are expected in that region. Well over 1,600 travel-related cases are reported in the continental U.S. and Hawaii, and there are more than 400 pregnant women with signs of Zika. In the meantime, Congress went on its summer recess without approving funds to fight Zika. Now Senate Democrats want members to cut their break short. Dr. Anthony Fauci leads the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases. He's in Bethesda, Maryland this morning and joins us. Hello, Dr. Fauci. It's good to have you here. Good to be with you. A lot of people very worried this morning. How confident are you? Why are authorities so confident that these are local mosquitoes in Florida? Well, it, they are local mosquitoes because there's no evidence at all that these individuals did not travel out of the continental United States. There's no evidence that they've had any kind of contact with other people uh, who have Zika. And so the obvious conclusion of this, which is, you know, almost incontrovertible, that this is local spread through mosquitoes, which was not at all unexpected given the number of travel related cases that we know are in the United States, many of which are concentrated in Florida. Do you expect to find additional local cases? You know, Charlie, I, I think there'll be no doubt that we're going to see additional cases. Uh, this is something that was expected. It was predicted. The critical issue now is to prevent these locally acquired cases from becoming sustained and from becoming disseminated. So there's a lot of activity going on locally by the local health authorities of very aggressive mosquito abatement control in order to prevent this spread beyond that area in uh, the uh, Dade County area where we're talking about. How do you do that? Well, you do it by several ways. You can actually eliminate standing water, which mosquitoes very vigorously uh, procreate there. They lay their eggs in water, they get larvae, and then they get adults. I and mean, when I say standing water, I mean pots and pans and even small little bottle caps. That's one way. The other way is by killing the larvae with larvicides, with insecticides, spraying either with backpack type spraying or even aerial spraying. So they're putting a full court press on that right now. Dr. Fauci, um, as Gail mentioned, the White House asked for a big funding, I think $1.9 billion back in February. That has not been approved. Congress is now in recess. How big a problem is it that that money is not available to fight this disease? Well, it, it fundamentally is a big problem to begin with. But what's happening now is we're getting now into August, uh, the beginning of August. We have had, when I say we, I mean the CDC and the NIH and others have had to borrow money from other areas of things that we do to get our effort going. We are very soon going to completely run out of money to do that. And then things are going to start to slow down. So it really is unfortunate that that money has not been appropriated. Should they come back early from break, as, as, it, as is being suggested? Well, I don't know what the mechanism is going to be, Gail, but uh, something needs to be done. All right, Dr. Anthony Fauci, we thank you, sir, for joining us this morning. Good to be with you.